So, good morning. Uh, I'd say, due to popular demand, my cousins mostly, and some of my friends, they've always wanted to know how I do mostly my eyebrows. As you can see, I'm not that much of a hair person. Like, <laughs> there's one thing, Sikupewa, it is hair. We were not given that in plenty. So, I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows and makeup to do. Yes, this is my fresh face. Like, to my amka too, like, means ago. I just said it to my amka. To Jalala Leo. Leo Mungu Miona. At to Tembele. I find you to figure it. So, basically, what I'm doing is just. Uh, this is usually my <laughs> powder brush, so I'm um, using whatever left over in my back here for a long time of not doing makeup uh, to kind of like dust off any, any oils I might have on my face. And then I'm going in with, I have two pencils that I normally use, <laughs> in Asia, clearly you can see. So I usually use Davis, Davis number <clears throat> 21. I don't know how these people usually do this. Something like that. Just Davis I number 21. Yeah. 90 bob, honestly. Now this is just Nohangaza. 30 bob, I'm thinking. The small ones. So, the trick in doing your eyebrows, uh, what I normally do is I brush them up. Um, both of them. That way I can see how to draw the line and usually when you're drawing in the line the bottom arch needs to be longer than the upper part of your brow like the arch that you draw up with you this one's an arch that one is more like a bend it has to be longer than the other and you just get the gist as you watch me draw um so this is what i'm talking about and usually follow like it's a little bit easy it makes your work easier and with this coronavirus we are not taking any chances at it only jesus knows we'll have to figure out how to do our hair <laughs> and then the upper part this is what i normally do uh the beginning of my brow as you can see the hairs are usually minuscule to doggo so at the beginning i leave it alone but where i'm seeing like the hair is beginning to have like density <laughs> yeah we're using that term quite loosely it's where i'll draw it from so for me normally this is where i'll draw the upper upper part me bend or is it i can't call this an arch okay fine that one and you can see me kuchora in a definition kidogo because what we are going for is the ombre vibe of how the natural brow the beginning of the brow it's never full no one has like the the beginning part of your of their brow as full it's a lie it's a lie if you, if you see someone having it and that usually is the difference between mtumwenye like kaju kuchora eyebrows kuna wenye watachora kwanzia hapa in a can cover like it's so full so it looks fake but here we're going for like a natural feel it's like i woke up like this kind of vibe or i'm microbladed by my brows or micro shading shenanigans so yeah and for some of us uh the ends of our brow jeans hmm. but we are, we are doing this so i use the black one Kuchota, then the brown one to fill in and how i feel in it's more of like i i do like upward strokes to like jazililia the spaces in my own bra and this is how to now yes 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 we are doing this because we've been requested to do it and i mean coronavirus atuna atuna form so form new we we use what we have to do something creative now fyi i'm left-handed just in case you're wondering how weird this looks i am left-handed uh we are usually amazing people so i heard and very intelligent like no qualms about it we already know. <laughs> and this is but then this is the second time i'm doing this stuff yesterday i did it then my phone it was our funeral like you do not 
because I was there like rabashing it doesn't <laughs> is he hung na ikose ko and hung niluambia the devil is a liar we are not going to to suffer during this corona vibe shenanigans no we have refused so i do that and then I normally take my beauty blender to kind of like wipe off the excessive brushing and do to create the ombre vibe as you can see it is even coming along eh this is how to cut his eyebrows we are working with what we have no judgment it won't be clean by the way in fact for me i like the not so cleaned out eyebrow vibe because eyebrows are usually kind of messy kidogo like unless unless umezi chonga we mwenyewe like how when you go to twist them how they do it when they are natural natural god given hmm? untainted and an and altered they are normally a bit messy so i like doing that as you can see they already done so my vache is stuff up so cuz we already done it and if i come up close you'll see like they look all natural Um and then what I normally do next after 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 nimezi shola shola I have two eyeshadows it basically livunjwa I've gotten a replacement this uh, this is what I normally use because it has a lot of brown shades uh, as you can see so I usually pick a, a shimmery brown that is almost the same color as this um the shade of my uh, of my skin of my eyelid skin yes but mostly the upper part because i don't give a much you can tell there's a difference between here and here yeah ranks so for me it's gonna my feeling there's a certain this one i'm using my fingers no judgment and then ntapaka at the ends uku uku misho misho to kind of like one safisha do kuficha nyele zenye zenye me atujenda kutriziva that's what i usually do and for me actually i avoid tweezing my eyebrows all the time i don't have a lot so when you do it excessively per what i've been told you might end up plucking the the brow from the root itself which is kind of plausible and that's how zin end up zikiwa chache So we continue like brushing it off uh, and applying the <laughs> a shadow to we clean it up and basically as you can see we are slaying. So after that I will go in with uh, this palette. And today I think I want to be very simple, saki maneno mingi. So I'll use specifically this color. This color and I might decide to use one of the lighter shades in this in this palette to like be at the etage mm, near my tear buds. I don't know what the, this this thing here is called this caprice here. I don't know. I don't know. I've not watched enough YouTube videos for me to know what they usually give them like majina za nyana kwangu amezipatia. So I will use this color as you can see. Yeah, it actually looks so nice kwaki nice eh, eh, eh. and usually me upanda nayo hadi kwa chris yeah, the chris is normally the the folding like how 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 ukifunga macho ipate ni you fold that's the chris so i'm doing the same on this other side this makeup stuff is a lot of work so basically yeah that's it um do i really And then I will kind of like can kind of funga match until I do the bottom part as well. Yeah. With the product that's already in my finger. Nanga lianga chu. So that's it and then now on to the foundation stuff my goodness i'm using illegal yes so i use the caramel and then i mix it with the soft honey for me to be able to kind of get my perfect shade because nachezea hapo katikati so 
I noticed uh, one time when nikipaka like the dark one, the caramel one, I appear I don't like it makes my hand lighter than my face. Usually they tunafanana. <laughs> so, yeah. So I prefer now I've learned to I have to mix both for me to be able to get my perfect shade. But it is well. Clearly makeup was made for white people, but thank goodness now the makeup industry is there considering like you black women like slim too. So, yeah. Uh my beauty blender, I have a little bit of here is rose water. This is what I use both to set my face and to apply your stuff. Don't worry, I know we look like demons. <laughs> that was you know, but uh, we are cleaning it up in the process. All is well, all is well. It has well with my soul. For all the people who love music, you know we can't shut up. Everything that we do, we do it while singing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is a. Uh, it's a lot of work, by the way. It's no joke. This is any cousin. Make up any cousin. What's wrong? Go. I'm Kiona. Naka tu shita ni sign. To go about to change the name. I'm so young. I'm so young. I'm so young. I'm cleaning everything up, including the ears. Don't worry. Hmm? What is what is makeup? What is makeup? Nothing. <laughs> okay, just the way we are playing our faces to look like people that that have got their shit together. Which is what makeup is. The essence of taking it down all the way to your neck. You want to look like one person. Usually, that is the essence. To look like one human being. Not like a million. I don't know. But I'm not. Really. In the mirror, I am not. I see the lighting. Hmm? That is on foot. I kid you not, I go all the way into my hair because I don't want to look like a monkey. Know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? So now that that's done, the next thing that I usually do, I told you, I'm a pretty simple chick, uh, is my eyelashes. This is the Colossal Volume Express Waterproof by Maybelline. This is my swear to, like I swear by this product. I am not endorsing anyone. In fact, I do not endorse people. This is like a dry set for my, for my cousin. Oh, my mirror. Oh my god, I can't start it being crazy. So yeah, yes, yes, yes. Whoever invented this stuff is the bomb. Because I have tried to go the eyelash way. It just doesn't work. So this is where the work comes in. Because I have to like chana zango. Zikai defined. This is what I do. I pinch at the end and then I just start brushing. It's work but uh Make do. Mm -hmm. As you can see now, we look like we were given. And then the final thing is to slide my lip, then apply. Yeah. 
I'm not Kylie Jenner. I don't go. Oh, why not? Because a good thing that black people will give them lips. Mwah. Yes, how do you? And then now, the lips, the lipstick. Personally for me, I don't, I don't do too much. Just kidogo, a little goes a long way, and then a touch of nudity. <laughs> yeah, know what I mean. Don't be. If you're hearing that sound, it's the guys who maintain the estate. They're coming to do their work. But usually, it's clean. Cleaning day and. It's safe to say we're done. Like we is done, as you can see. Wrestling. Uh -huh.